we will pull you out. Because <coughs> my doctor has forbidden me to pull. One, two, three, push. <coughs> my doctor has forbidden me to push. We shall take away your rails and leave you here for always and always and always. <laughs> I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. Yes, I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? Sir Tobham and Lady Hat are to visit our railway this evening. This is a very special occasion, so a brass band is coming to play for them. Don't be back late. Mighty Mac, you are to take some holiday makers up to the campsite. Because you didn't look where you wanted to go and you didn't follow the right track. Now you're late. You have caused delay and confusion. But you have told the truth and a really useful engine always tells the truth. I understand. Excuse me a moment. Oh, just where have all my engines gone? So long as you get your jobs done on time. <laughs> easy. I don't know how easy it'll be, but seeing as you know so much about it, Rex, maybe you should take the first train. But you are a very naughty engine. I will not have rudeness to visitors. No excuses. I'm ashamed of you. Go to your shed. Oh dear. Is Mike blowing off again? Perhaps I should put you on lighter duties. Top up? I told you not to come into work today. Not with a stinking cold like that you don't. Now, back home immediately. Well, well, maybe I should do it. How hard could it be? But I know a lot about naughty boys who won't stay in their bed when they're ill. Take him home immediately. And let's get down to business. Are you, Thomas, I'd like you to go to the docks and pick up my new hat. Oh, um, are you there? What's your name? Emmeline can take your passengers while you're collecting my hat. Hello there. Great. Well, I'm the Earl and this is Millie. She will show you where to take the stone. Mr. Percival says a switch sounds like an excellent idea. Look, it's not a race. The pastures don't like being bounced around like peas in a pod. You've got to learn to take things a bit easy. You wouldn't have spent so long looking for the groundskeeper's lodge if you'd gone a bit slower. Ho, 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 Billy, that gives me an idea. Thank you, Billy. You really are a clever little engine. That still doesn't make it all right, Billy. You should know you're not a silly little engine, no matter what they say. You're a very clever little engine, Billy. A very clever little engine indeed. But we haven't seen many tram engines. They're very unusual. But we may have to wait until tomorrow. I don't think we'll get any nice pictures today. Oh, aren't you a very nice and shiny engine? Thank you, Bert. I'm sure we'd like to do that later. Can I take you off for a ride in your tender now, Bert? I'm soaked! I'm soaked! We already have lots of pictures of tank engines. To the miniature railway. You see the sun is shining so nicely, we want to take some pictures. Hello, Bert. I'm afraid I was really looking out for the puddles. We wondered uh, if there was some way we could make it up to you, Bert. I think you misunderstood what your controller meant by little engines, Percy. This kind, model engines.